All right, hi, and welcome to another edition of Ram Country Conversations. Brian Roth, voice of the Rams, back with you, talking some football on the show here today with Alabama State Defensive Coordinator Chuck Heater. Chuck, great to see you. And uh, listen, you've been around college football, football in general for a long time, 40-plus years in the coaching profession. I know up until about two and a half months ago, you had seen it all. But something new here with the pandemic and the coronavirus, how have you been getting along? And boy, how much different uh, is this than the previous 40 years of coaching for you? Well, you know, unprecedented, obviously, for all of us. And all of us have had to learn to adapt and adjust. And meanwhile, it's trying to keep the workflow going, which we've been able to do. So, but it is different, different and unique in not being able to interact with players or recruits and all the things that really kind of make our job what it is. But meanwhile, we've been getting a lot done along the way. You didn't get all of spring football, and you got seven practices. How much were you able to accomplish in those seven practices? Well, it was valuable because you were able to actually see the guys that were just beginning to learn to know about it. So it was good to see them practice and have some assessments of them. And so it was valuable in that regard. Got, you know, got a little bit of our football in, which was a good thing. But just seeing guys function and operate and and the scrimmage, we had a legitimate scrimmage in there in those seven practices to, to get a better evaluation of guys so you know where you're at. So um, it, was, it was very valuable, actually. You're trying to evaluate your roster, obviously, as a new coaching staff. How, how much of the actual defense were you able to uh, implement in those days? And, and what is the process now uh, in implementing that defense so you guys are ready to go in the fall? You know, probably installation-wise, uh, you know, 35 40 percent of it and uh uh and then we've continued installing you know remotely obviously but being able to engage in guys uh, online and and being able to continue to install all of our football so we've gotten all of it installed in, at least at least in conversation and about 35 40 percent of it on the field through those seven practices so you as a coaching staff everybody has got together uh, back when everyone was hired january into february football got going it's been remote since then but now everybody's back in Fort Collins and you're starting to get some face-to-face -face meeting again I mean how much more valuable is that as a new coaching staff that's trying to get to know one one another as as human beings and football coaches well it's the part that you have to to, to close the gap on you know and obviously we get to, when we can actually start seeing these guys that will start you know we don't know for sure exactly how it's going to uh, you know, start, but it looks like somewhere in June we'll have a chance to get players back and start engaging to some degree and, and uh, kind of see what unfolds. But obviously that's a very important part of it because you make a lot of assumptions about what you th think you can or cannot do, but, you know, it's all based on the personnel. Players, players drive the bus and all of this type of thing. So the more you know, the better. And, and uh, you know, and make sure you're going down the right road with the things you're trying to get done and that you have the right pieces in place to do that. So. We got some of that done in the spring, and, and, uh, and obviously more of that will get accomplished this summer as well. When the players do come back uh, for the summer, and hopefully it's, it's sooner than later, uh, what are going to be some of the biggest challenges for you and the coaching staff in, in trying to get this team ready to go for hopefully in a game on September the 5th? Well, when that start time begins, I mean, obviously there's a gap there in terms of just physical conditioning, you know, preparing them that way. So that's a – a big part, I mean, we've been, it's been unknown. Guys are working on it, I'm sure, because they do, but not everybody's had access to weight rooms. But I think the physical part of it is important to assess that, evaluate that, and to find out what you have to do to, to close close up the, the gap in that and get them ready for the fall. So that's one piece of it. And then, uh, you know, at some point, if we're actually able to do some football, the, you know, the, the meetings, the on-the-field walkthroughs, all these things that yet, yet have been determined what we can do. But those have great value to us, you know, uh, things we all missed in the spring when and if those things get going again. So uh, the physical part and the, and the mental part as well uh, is really important as we approach this summertime. All right, a final thought before we let you go, Coach. And obviously you've had a lot of interaction with players to, through video conferencing like you and I are doing here. Uh, what's been the overall uh, perception of players and how excited are they to get back to campus and, and get working out again and get back into football mode? Well, if you love if you love to play football, you miss not being involved with it. And that's we like to think most of our teams that way. And, I, and my sense is we have a lot of guys that do like the game of football. So yeah, it's been difficult for them, you know. And we've tried to connect a bit with them at times on, on a lot of different levels. But 
but the actual part of it is what they missed. So, yeah, they're anxious to get back. It's a good, you know, it was a good culture. This team had a good culture, in my view, defensively, which I've got responsible for. They had a good, very good culture in the spring. Uh, was was left to us, and I think these guys want to play and they want to get developed and they want to get coached and, and see if we win a football game. So I think very much that way, the mindset, uh, certainly the defensive players. Chuck, thanks so much. Appreciate you taking out a few minutes, and uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing uh, everybody back on campus very shortly. Thanks so much. Great. Great day, Brian. Thank you.